Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of <laughs> the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In 1960, in Greenland, they drilled into the ice sheet and took out cores. On the cores they studied the annual stratigraphy of 110,000 years ago, then they wrote a bunch of books on the history of the Earth's climate. The main thing, the mountain drilling experts calculated that 10 centimeters of ice accumulate in a year. But in 1990, an embarrassment happened. In 1942 an American bomber made an emergency landing in Greenland. And, 48 years later, military archaeologists decided to swoop in and retrieve the plane. But when they found the plane, it turned out to be under a layer of ice 75 meters. That is, the ice sheet grows 1.56 meters per year, in other words, 16 times faster. So, all the dating and climatic history on the ice cores of the official science can be shoved into the trash. The story with the plane became known, it was written about, but what do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Underground Moscow Moscow was originally built of white limestone, which was not durable. The Kremlin began to turn red in 1485, when Italian architects replaced white stone with red fired brick. During excavations in 1995, walls and wooden cabins were dug out from under the thickness of the ground, right under the walls of the Kremlin. If buildings have been brought by a flood in 18th century, construction should be already from a brick. If the catastrophe happened earlier, then history cannot but preserve the fact that the center of the city was suddenly swept up by tens of meters of earth, together with houses, bridges and huts. It is believed that Siberia was not inhabited before the March of Ermac. However, in 1970, metal buckles depicting dragons were discovered in southern Siberia, and in 2014, mirrors with Indian motifs were found. If this territory did not belong to anyone before Yermak's campaign, then the artifacts found could have come to Siberia only through trade routes. However, with whom could the Chinese or Indians trade there if there were no inhabitants in Siberia according to official data? Who set Moscow on fire? General Seger wrote, Two officers saw an extraordinary light, and that the flames engulfed the palaces. First, it illuminated the graceful and noble outlines of their architecture, and then it all collapsed. On the night of the 14th to the 15th, a ball of fire descended over the palace, and burned the structure. 
Once again, the extraordinary light, the fireball, the flames that brought down palaces and multi-story buildings. Not igniting, but illuminating. Further, the fire was followed by disease. The barracks were filled with sick soldiers, and the hospitals with wounded, dying by the hundreds. The wounded were wailing as they struggled with death. The whole town was turned into a cemetery. Incidentally, the elevated background radiation level in the center of Moscow forms a characteristic spot, with a torch extending toward the south. Doesn't it remind you of modern history? Not surprisingly. After all, the Moscow fire occurred 150 years before Hiroshima. Is time travel possible? Science does not give an unambiguous answer. But there are many, to put it mildly, strange facts accumulated in the world, which no one can explain. Here are some of them. This photograph was taken in 1941 at the opening of the South Fork Bridge in the Canadian province of British Columbia. The photograph includes a man who clearly stands out from the crowd with his unconventional appearance. A short haircut, dark glasses, knitted sweater with a wide neckline over a t-shirt with some symbolism, a massive camera in the hands. You have to agree that this appearance is quite usual for our days, but not for the early 40s. And he absolutely stands out among the others. There was an investigation about this photo. A participant of those events was found. But he couldn't remember this person at all. Speaking about time travel, in 1999 a magazine called Weekly World News claimed to have uncovered an old newspaper clipping from 1918, showing a time traveler. The clipping is allegedly from a long-defunct newspaper called the New York Police Courier. The headline reads Mystery Man Found Dead in Two-Foot-Long Space Tube. The image shows the feet of a man in a cylindrical object. Nearby on the grass, there's a device that resembles a mobile phone from the late 90s. The article purports that a scientist came forward proclaiming to be part of a covert government-run time travel program. He said that they were responsible for the mysterious tube and the death of the man. He claims that he and his team looked for years through old newspaper clippings, hoping to find evidence of the man they had sent back in time. And sure enough, he found this 1918 clipping. Some debunking sleuths have noted that the publication Weekly World News, who broke the story, are infamous for making stories up. Another commenter pointed out that the alleged 1918 clipping is written in a font that resembles a sans-serif typeface called Meta. Meta wasn't created until the early 1990s. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.